We'll be making a drawing of a rotor lock based on a PDF spec sheet. So I'm going to create a layer for PDF underlay and uh, double click it so we're in that layer. I'm going to insert a PDF underlay and go find the file. And there we go. And I'm going to put it at zero, zero, and everything else I'll do on the screen, and then I have to size it. So here is the sheet. Now we're going to go in and scale this puppy. And uh, I'm going to leave, uh, I've opened up the new drawing, by the way, and I left it all in metric because this uh, PDF has a lot of metric measurements, so I'm just going to do it all in metric. Um, to scale this, uh, I have a measurement here of 86. Uh, millimeters, so I can use this as my scaling uh, measurement. So I need to modify and scale. Choose my object, enter, and enter base point, and it'll be right here. And uh, R for reference, uh, reference length. I'm going to go up to the top of here. So right about there, zoom in on that, click, Okay, now specify new length, it's 86, 86, enter, okay, zoom all, there we go. And now to double check, I'm going to measure that line from about here, pull down, and there we have 86. So the scale is correct. Now to draw this thing. Uh, I'm going to do a few shapes. First I'm going to do the outside shape of this. We're going to flop it over later and do some stuff over here. But first I'm going to do the outside shape. I'm going to start with a rectangle and uh, line up my crosshairs there. Come up to here and I'm going to type in 16.3 uh, for the width. 3.3 tab and then 86 for the height hit enter and there's my rectangle and now I want to um, fill it off the edges and that's this tool over here and um, I need to pick on uh, radius and I'm going to try a few here so that I can try and match up my line let me do it here at the bottom I'm going to try and match this curved line here. And so I'm going to start, uh, I don't know the radius offhand, so I'm just going to start uh, with a guess at 10. And now I can pick one object and then hover over the other one and see how it's creating a line here, a, a curved line around the side. Well, that's obviously way too big, so I can hit R again for radius. And let's hit 5. And now hover over this one, and that's... Um, that's not tight enough. So R again, and let's try seven. And now, oh look at that, we can't see it at all. And you know what? I can just barely see it on my screen and it matches perfectly. So now I click here, and now it's created a radius right there. And if I hover over it, you'll see the little dotted line. And there it is. Okay, so it matches perfectly. So now I'm going to hit the uh, space bar to repeat the command select my line here select that one there and uh, zoom in for the top space bar to repeat click click space bar click click so now I have my object here matches the outer portion okay. uh, as usual I'm going to make a copy of this copy Oops, copy. And uh, I'm simply going to press uh, enter and just make a single copy right on top of it. So now there are two copies right here in the same spot. Um, I'm going to want the other one later. Now, the height of this object is 44 centimeters right there. There's a side view. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to extrude that to uh, 44, 44, enter. Now, I can't see it because I'm looking at it from the top, so let's open up um, a couple of viewports. Here we 
go. We'll do four left. And in this viewport, uh, we will um, choose our object and then view it like that. So now we can see that it has extruded itself out of there. And here we're going to do, let's say, a side view. There we go. And in this viewport, uh, we'll do, um, uh, let's do a, a slightly back view. And we'll keep going. There we go. No, oh, that's the same as the one on the top. Okay, we'll do that one. So now we have our various views. Now here we can see that we have our 3D object, and if I click up here, if I click just at the bottom, we have the whole thing. Let's see if we can just pick just the bottom. There's the bottom shape, the one that we made a copy of. Now the copy is what I want to concentrate on for a second. Um, in our drawing, we have this plate that's at the back, because this is actually a piece of metal that's bent um, they make it flat and then they bend it to the shape. So to construct this, we need a, a bottom plate here. So this object here, I'm going to copy it again. Okay, and just hit enter and enter so it's in the same place. And then I'm going to extrude this. Um, here we go. And uh, we're just going to extrude it to a height of, you know, that probably looks like I can measure it if I want to, but I'm going to just say that it's 1.5 millimeters and press it. So now I've got this uh, this bottom plate sitting here and I've got this solid object here sitting here um, and I probably still have my uh, unextruded bottom uh, piece here at the very bottom of my object. Let me pick it this way. I'll be in here and I'll go from here. Oops. Uh, there we go. I'll just select it like so. There it is. So that's the very that's the original flat item in 2D. Okay, so this object here, um, I'm going to use yet again. Copy and enter and enter. So there it is there, and I need to select it again. And I have probably two items now, but I only want one. There we go. Now there's one object. And I'm going to uh, use the offset tool because I want an inside ring to match that Okay, for this inner line. So I'm going to specify 1.5 and uh, select object offset. So I need to select it again. Right, well, I can't do it in the current direction, so let's do it in this one. Let's see if I can grab it. There it is. There we go. Okay, so now it's offsetting inside or outside, so I'm going to offset it inside. And there it is. Now I want to select that object, and I'm going to extrude it. Extrude. Now the other one, the full height here, was 44 millimeters. So I can do 44, and there we go. And now I'm going to move it ever so slightly. So I'm going to grab it, and in this window, I'm going to move. And can I move it up? I can. I'm going to move it up just a touch. Actually, I want to use 3D move so I don't end up uh, messing it up in this window. It wants to stay straight. Um, so I'm going to actually move it in this window. I'm going to turn on my 3D, my move gizmo. Okay, and I'm going to change the command to 3D move. 3D move. I'm going to select the inner object. There we go. And now move it according to that line there. Just go straight up and type in 1.5. Enter. So now in this picture here, you can see that the inner one is ever so slightly higher than the outer one. So now that I have that done, I'm going to take the... Let's move this one out here. 
I'm going to do a modify 3D solid subtract select the solid to subtract from which is going to be the big one on the outside enter select the smaller one on the inside enter and now I have a hollow object okay. let's take a look at that in wireframe conceptual see that so now I have a, a, an actual hollow object okay. In this window, we have a hollow object and it has a base, it has a back. So that's okay, we want that, that's exactly what we want. So now we'll go back to this window, 2D wireframe. I'm gonna flop it over and put it on top of this surface here so we can put a hole in it. But you know what, before we do that, let's put some holes in the base because the holes are drawn here. Okay, all right, let's zoom in on this one and draw holes which um, have a diameter of 6.4 so let's click on that so 6.4 uh, divided by 2 would be 3.2 so 3.2 for the radius over here there we go we have the approximate size there and now we're going to extrude this item Extrude, and we're going to uh, extrude it. Uh, let's just, we just need 25. We fine. And this window here, <coughs> so we'll do it in this one up here. Select it here. Okay, 3D move. Actually, we can just move it in this window right here. We're just going to move it straight down a little bit. There we go. It's still centered around our hole. There it is right there. And now in this one, we're going to copy it. Um, copy. This point there. Let's move it straight down to here. There we go. So now we have two of them. So what we're doing is we're going to cut a hole in the bottom of this thing. Apply, subtract, um, subtract from. So I'm going to select both of those. Enter and then select both of these. Enter and now we have holes in multiple parts. Now let's look at it through this one and. Yep, see that? We can see right through it now. So we've just done those holes. Now we're going to flop the thing over and cut the holes in the side. So we're going to look at it like this. View from the front. And now we're going to give it a new coordinate system. And you just hit view, V for view because we want to see from here. And now we're going to rotate. Select all. No, we don't want the PDF, so we'll select this way. There. No. Okay, we're going to save this view. So we can go back to it. Uh, end view, because we're looking at the end of the red lock. Now let's take a look at it here. Oh, wait. We want to go back to WCS. So that now it's on the side. So now if we take this object here, we're going to move it. Move this point move it right over to here. And so now we're going to punch two holes in it through this way. So let's select our circle, type in 3.3, .3, okay. and then 
extrude. Now let's make it 40. You can see over here that it's nice and tall. It's bigger than that, so let's move this. Oh, now the question is, did, oh, it didn't move. Let's do 3D move. 3D move. Along that line, straight down. Right. And now we're going to copy it. There we go. We've got two of them. Now we're going to cut these holes in the sides. So, modify, 3D, subtract, we're going to subtract it from these parts, enter, we're going to subtract those, enter, and now we have cut those holes. Oops. Zoom object. And now we have the holes cut in those other sides. Now if we see, we see what that looks like. Let me turn off the... Okay, we drew everything in the wrong layer. Let's go back to that layer. Huh. And uh, I'll select everything. Oops. And move all that stuff to layer zero. There we go. Now we can... Current layer... And there's our object. Right, so that's what that's looking like now. So that's the basis for getting that started. The next step would be to draw these parts and to do our editing and subtracting and so on and so forth. And we can uh, reshape them as needed. Um, and the rest of the drawing is here. Uh, matching the PDF to figure out how we're going to fit this into our platform edge and so on. But that's how we can build our part. I hope that was helpful and it's uh, cutting holes and doing some shapes and and um, making a uh, mortise um, draw latch, also known as a coffin lock. Have a great day.